I've spoken to a bunch of people both inside of MF Global and people who are familiar and, and talk themselves to people with inside MF Global. And the sentiment among the rank and file right now seems to be that this issue of segregated accounts, in other words, of several hundred million dollars of client money, which seems to have gone into MF Global corporate accounts, that John Corzine, the CEO of MF Global, either sh had to have been the person who either authorized this or certainly should have known about this. And, it, and it's not something that's proper. You're not supposed to mix client money with corporate money. There's a bunch of problems potentially for Corzine with this. If the authorities and the regulators currently and authorities, FBI included, are scouring over everything about MF Global, and if they come to the conclusion that John Corzine either authorized or was aware of these transfers, there's a variety of different charges in theory that could be brought against him. Some could be criminal, some could be civil. Uh, there's a variety of different things, and there also could be private lawsuits against him and state lawsuits for breach of fiduciary duty. So he faces a range of potential issues. All of this should be couched however, in the fact that we have not seen any sort of smoking gun yet. It hasn't even been alleged that one exists. But with the FBI investigating, with the regulators investigating, all of that is on the table right now.